Hello everyone, how's everybody doing today? And today we are doing a diorama photo review of this legendary 1-6 scale Millennium Falcon. Now this item was made by Jazz INC Diorama. Now Leia's pissed. Han, punch the Falcon. Han? Don't tell me. What a piece of- oh. Well, sometimes literally punching it does work I guess. You can check the full unboxing of this piece in my previous video. For all the awesome projects Jazz INC is offering, I will attach a link in my video description. As you can see, this is the ultimate Star Wars diorama you can ever have. With your 1-6 scale figure, you can recreate so many scenes from the movie. All the projects from Jazz INC are made from Juiced and his father and recently his son are also joining to help. It's like the Star Wars Skywalker family. Each project is only made in limited quantities, and most of the time, it is a single batch release. So if you missed out, unless there are enough pre-orders to fulfill another batch, it would be very greatly difficult to get your hand on them again. Meaning, grab it while you can. Jazz Inc. is focused primarily on 1-6 scale diorama. They are mainly focused on Star Wars, but Juice also does other franchises too. Recently, he has made 1-6 scale Justice Mobile from the movie Justice League, and we'll be seeing the 1966 Batmobile as well as the massive 1989 Batwing too. Juice focuses only on projects that other major companies decided not to release. For example, the 1966 Batmobile and the Millennium Falcon were supposed to be offered by Hot Toys, but since they decided to drop the project, Juice took up the project so that we collector can display these awesome dioramas into our collection. Now occasionally, some items may overlap with other companies such as the Emperor's Throne from Hot Toys, but this was not intentional and the Hot Toys Throne came way after Juice Burden. As you can see, his work are filled with details. When Han doing his smirk face, we naturally smile too, especially when he's in his favorite falcon. With a great diorama, you can create great story. It's laughable when we see Leia kicking everybody around. She's definitely the leader of this crew. The backside of the cockpit can be used for so many scenarios too, and we just can't skip Han and Leia scene, can we? And we can't also skip the C-3PO getting in the way scene too. Sorry Han, Leia's pissed again. And Chewie's pissed off for fixing the Falcon alone too. Man, the play value of this diorama is endless. I don't understand. Han doesn't believe in the Force, while his co-pilot Chewie has fought with the Jedi in the Clone Wars. Didn't Chewie smack his head and lecture Han about the history? I mean, Han was born already during the Clone Wars. By the way, I'm a Canadian from Vancouver, so you can expect that an unfriendly visitor will occasionally join the photo shooting. And no, no one above Leia. Jedi Master? Nope, it doesn't matter. Even Deadpool must take order from our princess. I hope you all enjoyed this video and the awesome diorama from Jazz Inc. 
If you'd like to purchase the Millennium Falcon or any highly detailed diorama, I suggest you to jump to Jazz Inc. website right away as these items are limited in quantities and if you miss them, it's near impossible to get your hands on them again. Please like, subscribe, and hit the notification so that you will not miss any future videos. For more detailed photos, please visit my blog page in my description below and upcoming projects are usually announced on my Facebook page prior to. Thank you very much and see you all soon!